This is grade 6 math, 3.4b. We're going to add and subtract several mixed numbers. Now this is a remake of a video I made a year ago because one of my viewers noticed a math error. I really appreciate it when someone points that out. I've got over 2,000 math videos on YouTube. And I make a mistake every once in a while. Your sharp eyes help me out. So I want to go over some things very quickly just to remind you that a factor is the same thing as a divisor. And in a multiplication problem, these are our factors, the 3 and the 4. The 12 is our product. And the 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4. It's also a multiple of 2 and 6. For division, this outside number is our divisor. This number underneath here is our dividend. Our quotient is our answer that goes above the place value that it belongs, and we would write our remainder as R and then our remainder. And the order of operations is parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide left to right, add or subtract left to right. And we can remember it as P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS. Some people for decades have used, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And LCD means least common denominator. It's the smallest, whoops, I'm missing a T. Here, I'm trying to remake a video and I'm still making mistakes. It's the smallest common product as a denominator. So adding several mixed numbers or subtracting is done the same way as if adding or subtracting two mixed numbers. So take a look at this. We have three mixed numbers that we want to add. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the common multiples that 4, 8, and 2 can have. And we list all the common products that they could have. Looks like they can meet at 8. So they're going to meet at 8's house. We have to figure out what 4 needs to be an 8. It needs to be multiplied by 2. The numerator gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 2. For this 2, it needs to be multiplied by 4. So we have to multiply the numerator by 4. And then we get these values that all have the same denominator. Now we can add them. 2 and 1 is 3 and 4 is 7. So we have 7 eighths. We add the 5 and this 6 together and we get 11. We have 11 and 7 eighths. All right. Let's try this again. Our denominators are 32, 16, and 4. We have to figure out what common multiples they have, what common products they, can, they have, where can they meet. And they can meet at 32. So we have to figure out what the denominator needs to be multiplied by to get to that 32, and the numerator wants to be multiplied by the same amount. This gets multiplied by 2, this gets multiplied by 8. We end up with a nice column with all the same denominators. Now we can add them. And 7 and 6 is 13, and 24 is 37. So we have 37 30 seconds. And on this side, we have 33. Now, because this numerator is larger than the denominator, we can pull out a 32 over 32 as a 1. Because when the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1. That's going to make this a 34. We give that 1 to the 33. And we have 5 30 seconds left over. We have 34 and 5 30 seconds. See? Now, this is where I made my error. I used to have a plus sign here, and it was supposed to be a subtraction problem. And I did subtraction, even though there was a plus sign there. So now we're going to do it the right way. We have 3 and 3 eighths, and we're trying to subtract 2 and 2 sevenths minus 1 and 1 fourteenths. Well, we know we do the parentheses first. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator for the 7 and the 14, and they can meet at 14. See? The 7 needs to be multiplied by 2, so we do the numerator also. So now we have 2 and 4 fourteenths minus 1 and 1 fourteenth. That's going to give us 1 and 3 fourteenths. Now we take this amount and we subtract it from this one. But we need to figure out where the 8 and the 14 can meet. So we list all their multiples, and they can meet at 56. We multiply the 8 times 7 to get a 56, and the 14 times 4 to get a 56. We multiply their numerators by the same amount that we multiplied the denominator, and 
we subtract. 21 take away 12 is a 9, so we have 9 56, and 3 take away 2 is, 3 take away 1 is 2. See? We just figure out which lowest value denominator, which least common multiple they can have in common. And then we add or subtract. But remember, the numerator gets jealous and wants to be multiplied by that same value that we multiplied the denominator. All right? I wanted to throw in something else. When you see something like this, and you see how they're grouped, notice that these are halves, and two halves make a whole, don't they? So when you see something like this, use the associative property to regroup this to add like add-ins first. If we add these two together, we're going to get a 4. Then when we add the 4 and 3 fourths, we don't have to do any of that work with the multiples and denominators because we can just add and get 8 and 3 fourths. See? So you can make it easier on yourself by regrouping these into easier fractions to add. Okay? So, thank you, you know who you are, to that wonderful subscriber who found my error and helped me keep my videos correct because it's important that the quality is good for all the students all over the world. All right? I just added a PayPal button to my homepage, so you have another option of a way to support me and my cause of bringing math to every corner of the world. I'll see you next video. Bye.